Hvem? Kan jeg købe partiet? Okay. So, hello everybody. So, the last presentation. Uh, our, uh, yeah, it's okay. our role in this project was to speak about the business. Because mainly the European project are focused on the technology, what is, uh, which is very important. So, maybe the 90% or 95% of the project is technical. Lots of challenges. Uh, there were lots of challenges to, to, to win, and, uh, and we, we won many challenges. But one of those is to see what uh, can we do with income on the market. Uh, so uh, the idea, like in a startup like X3, was to sink uh, to the market, but very early on the research and development, which is quite complicated. Sorry. Are there is a the camera? Yeah. You hear me? <laughs> ah, okay. So, uh, what is complicated? Because uh, many questions, uh, many parts of the technology are, um, uh, need, uh, need uh, more development. So, for example, I put here some, uh, some uh, questions, so part of the research and development. So, for, for example, we don't know exactly today the production capacity of the Hincon robot, uh, if we take, take into account all the parameters. The maintenance level, which is very important if tomorrow we want to sell this robot, it's a very important question. The final price of the robot also. Uh, the, user, the user's needs, uh, the market of the 3D uh, concrete printing is new, so the needs of the final user are, are, are very, uh, how can I say, are very open. Uh, and also, uh, there is many questions. There are many questions around the standards. Construction sector is a very standardized uh, sector, and uh, the operation of the 3D uh, in this sector is quite new. So the evolution of the standards are, um, are just starting. But uh, with all those uh, questions, we tried to imagine uh, a business model for the for the Incon company. So what did we do? Uh, we start in uh, December 2018 making a workshop with all partners because all of us we have an experience uh, to see what can be the business model of this kind of company. Uh, in January we present the methodology of the business plan. After we made the first focus group uh, in France. So what is a focus group? The idea uh, is to make a common uh, interview with professional. Eh? So we had some small uh, companies, Craftman with five employees, and also some big companies uh, with more than uh, 1,000 uh, uh, employees. Uh, between March and May, we made a macroeconomic uh, study. So we bought uh, a very huge uh, analysis around the 3D concrete printing in the world. And we made the analysis of that with the Chamber of Commerce of Bayonne, which has a consultant in construction. Uh, also, we made between April and June 2019 uh, the internal property uh, analysis because in this kind of project one of the question or the problem is the repartition of the intellectual property so it's important to analyze it uh, before and to imagine what uh, could be the management of this kind of uh, intellectual property in a company we made another focus group here in Madrid so the idea was to see if the professional in France and in Spain had the same kind of point of view or not and finally, now we are achieving our work package. And so we are doing the last uh, deliverable. What are the business plan, the marketing strategy, and the market analysis? So you understood the business plan. It's a market analysis, a company strategy, an IP management, financial forecast. Uh, even if it's very theoretical, we try to imagine what could be uh, <coughs> the financial forecast of a startup uh, doing or working uh, around the Hincon robot. And finally, the marketing strategy. What are our, uh, who are our clients? Uh, what are they going to buy, etc., etc. Uh, some uh, data around the, the macroeconomic analysis. Uh, so, uh, as I said, it's a huge uh, market study. And so I just show here some figures, uh, some data. So if we see the all additive manufacturing market in the world, 
Uh, nowadays, it's uh, close to $10 billion on the world uh, and is going to develop very rapidly because in four years, so now in three years, we will arrive close to $30 uh, billion. Okay, so it's quite an important market. It's not very important because it's in the worldwide scale, but it's quite important market. Uh, in this market, if we focus now on the 3D concrete printing, uh, we can see that uh, this market, this sector, it's very, very small. Nowadays, it's uh, $23 million, so it's very small, it's nothing. Uh, but he's going to develop a lot uh, because we will reach in 10 years around uh, $200 uh, million. So it's not so important, but there is there, we are going to have a market. Uh, if we take now the geograph geographical repetition, so North America, of course, it's, uh, it's a leading market uh, with uh, close to 40% of the market, and he will keep this proportion on the next 10 years. And the second market are Europe and Asia. Uh, if we focus uh, on Europe, because Hincon is a European project, so maybe tomorrow, if we have a startup starting with this uh, technology, he will focus on Europe. The leading <laughs> country are the Netherlands and Germany, uh, followed by UK and France. There is no Spain here, so uh, so uh, maybe because uh, it's a new technology and the market is uh, is not moving so far here, so so fast here. Uh, Netherlands and Germany are really pushing in, uh, in those technologies is the reason why I think the market is moving there. Uh, what do we do with the 3D concrete uh, technologies nowadays? So more for parts for residential uh, market, it's close, uh, it's 30-35% and they it will keep uh, this proportion, followed by archit architectural uh, projects. And finally, commercial and infrastructure are very, very low. So uh, if we create an activity tomorrow, it's true that residential market seems to be a, an interesting market. Uh, by product, so you have seen within what did, what did we product, but uh, mainly walls, uh, roof, and, uh, and also some floors uh, product. Uh, so, uh, what are the main conclusions of this uh, macroeconomic uh, section? Uh, first, the market is moving very fast and uh, we'll have a market on the 3D concrete printing tomorrow. Even it's today, it's very, very low. So maybe if we create a company tomorrow, we need investors to start. Uh, the North America is the first market. So even if we create a company tomorrow in Europe, we, we need to interest in this region because it's moving there. Uh, and also that are more contextual uh, conclusion, but it's true if we see the evolution of the society, urbanization of the cities are going fast, the needs of construction also, uh, and the construction sector will uh, increase of 70% in the next year. So it's, it, it's very important. So from the scale of uh, worldwide, to the user because it's very important to see the boss side. Uh, many startups uh, don't develop because they just focus on the technology, but you, you, you need also to focus on the needs of the end user. Uh, and so for that, we made some focus group, uh, focus group, so it's a methodology, university methodology to interest on the needs of the user. Uh, so we made, uh, as I said, two focus groups. In total, we interviewed uh, 13 uh, professionals with seven different specialties uh, and various size of company. So we had architects, we had uh, promoters, uh, yeah, promoters, we had uh, uh, craft, uh, craftsman societies, etc., etc. So here I made a synthesis of three kind of results. First one, the idea was not to speak of the technology, but just to speak about the problem of those professionals in a day-to-day -day work. So three main pro problems appear. Uh, the, f the first one is the poor preparation of the construction projects. 
So uh, many uh, problems are discovered on the construction site, uh, which is costing a lot in money and, and a lot in time. That this is the, 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 most, the main problem. Uh, the sector of the construction is the last sector to be uh, industrialized. And finally, uh, the result of that is the each project is finally it's a, it's a prototype. The second problem is the climatic problem. So quite difficult to resolve this problem, but it's true that we are uh, developing more and more off-site construction. So maybe a, a, a way uh, to, to have a response on that is the off-site construction. And the last uh, problem of the pro those professionals was the difficulty to find skilled workers. Uh, and it's a very, very important uh, problem. Maybe the robotization of the sector can be a solution. So here's some uh, saying of uh, those people. So one was telling young people are changing a lot of job and company today. They are very mobile and their career is not regular like us in our time. So we as company, we must constantly adapt to the human resource level. Uh, and the other one so was telling the building job are very painful. So company now are, are involved in this kind of thematic. Today we know it. For me, main challenge for the company uh, for the coming years, sorry, is to develop a new constructive process to save painfulness. Okay, so there is a consciousness of this kind of problem. Uh, second kind of result: uh, What do you expect from 3D concrete printing technology? So uh, five kind of uh, response: So reduce the dependence on the workforce. Increase production rates, so productivity is the main problem of the companies. Avoid errors <coughs> and improve quality. Uh, quality also it's a very important uh, thematic in those uh, focus group. Reduce the harness of the workers. And also an aspect more creative uh, is to develop new form and new architectures. One minute? Wow. <laughs> uh, we asked them also, uh, in your dream, what would you like to work? Uh, what kind of application would you like with uh, 3D Concrete? So the first one, it's in four, number four there, is to build all the house. So for the, co for the professional, the dream is to have a project and to build it with a uh, 3D printer. So nowadays, it's not possible exactly or for the small construction, but it's the first result. After they speak about some uh, complex parts, uh, for stairs, for facade, ornamental cases, etc. So it's an, another idea. And another kind of response were around the furniture, so indoor or outdoor furniture. So it's true that uh, thinking about the company, those kind of results must uh, guide us or must, uh, must uh, give us uh, a strategy. So I have to finish. So. If I have to finish, what can I say? Yeah, maybe I can finish with this. Uh, as a company, if Income Tomorrow is a company, we have to think about our added value. So what is you, our value proposition? Maybe we can uh, say that there are three. The first one is to have in the same machine additive and subtractive technology. It's quite new, new on the market. There is no other proposition on the market. The second one is the performance of the material. And I think that we can improve this performance and have a variety of materials. And the last one is this cable robot adapted to the concrete 3D printing, which is quite new also. And maybe we can imagine tomorrow to make a very big uh, construction parts uh, with the technology. Thank you very much.